You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures team. Is, um, the queen wants me, mm -hmm. you know, and she told me she loves me, but I told her I don't love her in any way and that I have a fiance. You know, I, I put my foot down on that, you know, and um, you know, she, you know I, I didn't want to be rude then, sincerely, I didn't, I never wanted to be rude to her. But when my father, you know, told me that she came to your place and told you so many nasty things, I got mad and I went straight to the palace to warn her. But fortunately for her, you see, she was in a meeting then. So? So I just, you know, delivered the message the way it was. And with the way I delivered it to the gods, believe you me, she will not come anywhere close to me again. Are you sure? Of course that's the truth. Consequences of such an action. There are many witnesses. Do you want me to summon them to confirm? Oh, my highness, Th this is just a rumor from young people. Uh, besides, let's not allow people to come from outside to divide our family. Ours is a rural and noble family. Please, however, once I get home, I'll investigate. I'll talk to her. I promise that. to say that Ubnede said I shouldn't get anywhere close to the palace again. No, he did not say that. Okay, but I just I just don't want you to come around the palace for the time being. Okay? We'll just um you call me on phone and we'll fix a date and where we're going to meet or something, but just don't come close to the palace for now. And to think that Ubnede sent for my father. Wait. Are you sure it's not related to this particular issue? It is not. Just calm down, Henry. Yeah, there's nothing for you to worry about. Henry, have you forgotten that someone is waiting for you outside? How dare you invade my... 
Are you forgotten that I've been waiting for you out there? Listen, okay. I... In fact, sit yourselves. Come back! How dare you? You turn your back at me when I'm talking to you. Are you mad? Will you answer my question now? My, my queen, please. Please forgive me, please. Answer me! Oh, my, my queen! Oh, it hasn't gotten to that. You shouldn't have. Hello, hello. My daughter. <laughs> What's your problem? Papa! Huh? I was talking to her and she slapped me! You still have the guts to stand here and talk? This is the guts to dance. That's alright, that's alright. That's what I'm going to do. Henry! You see what they have cost? Look at you dating your image, dragging your name to the mud. Huh? Going on, and you didn't tell me anything? Your Highness, I never suspected any foul moves between them. Daddy, Auntie Kamaka was telling Uncle Dike, leave me, that she peeped through the king's window and saw them committing adultery. Who? Mommy and Henry. In my palace? While I am still alive? Mm. Call me Ukamaka. Yes, Your Highness. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. Hello. I insist there are traces of truth in every rumor. We really have to look into the issue of the Queen's pregnancy. Oh, Ned. Whether the Queen is pregnant or not, it's none of my business. Or whether Obunede was important, it's none of my business. My business is to crown whoever the offer accepts, period. Okay. Thank you.
It's all right then. So we'll meet at the usual place, eh? What time? you have some break? No. It's not good for my health. Baby, I want you to get rid of this pregnancy. What? Don't even go there. Don't even think about it. Do you know what you're getting yourself into? Of course I know what I'm getting myself into. Henry. I love you, okay? I want us to have this baby together. How do we explain it? How? Don't worry. When I get to that bridge, I shall sure know how to cross it. What are you talking about? I mean, Ogunede is impotent. What do people say? I mean, how would they... Is this why you invited me here? I'm sorry, I have to leave now. I didn't tell anybody I was going out, okay? Be good. feeling very feverish and ill, yes. so I went to see my doctor and then he ran some tests and he said I'm pregnant! How, 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 how did you know? Shall live long. Thank you, Your Highness. I say you will live long. Thank you, Your Highness. And uh, who am I talking to? I am Dr. Mrs. Richard from St. Luke's Hospital and Maternity. Dr. Mrs. Richard. Yes, Your Highness. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. You sit down. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? Yes. I ran the queen's pregnancy test some months back and she hasn't shown up since then. And our culture demands we see to the well-being of our clients. So I came by to see if she has enrolled for Antinenta somewhere. But if she hasn't, it's her time she started. Right. Um, thank you. Thank you for your concern. Thank you, Your Highness. I shall uh, look into it. Uh, but, but not today. I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you, Your Highness. Do you mind if I give you my complimentary card? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you. That's the complimentary card. You will live now. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. out an hour ago. Inform me the moment she returns. Yes, Your Highness.
Celestina, who made you pregnant? Who has the temerity to enter the king's sacred forest? It could be nobody else but you, my lord. Me? Yes. Uh, then why was I not informed? Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Ah, indeed. It's been a wonderful surprise. <laughs> you know, a few weeks before your accident, you slept with me. Remember? <laughs> oh, Celestina. You almost succeeded. You almost got away with your stump. The doctor who conducted your pregnancy test came here to ask if you had commenced Antinato. So you see, that gives me out of the picture. Because the accident happened well before that. So I ask you again, who made you pregnant? Resides in this palace must not be allowed to go out of this place for whatever reason. And failure to adhere to this instruction will attract serious consequences. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. I said, do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know Jesus Christ. I, I said you yes to him. I hear him to sleep with me. I, I could no longer hold myself. It was all my fault. <laughs>
bon ça. What is the matter? On va où? Edward ou Demezou? Au bout de one of Obelafo. It's no more. Eh? Do you? What, what do you mean? Dead. 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 Hey. 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 cabinet members he is kind generous a great man who abolished all the evil tradition in Obelafe what cannot describe him we miss him oh what a wonderful king he was hey but chief one more question you know when he died he wasn't taken to the mortuary for impediment and after that no necessary burial rites were conducted in that respect chief what are we to say According to our tradition, Ogunede's household and members of his cabinet should pay him their last respect. That is what you are seeing now. His rites will be performed on the Ofala day, which we call the last Ofala. But chief. Excuse me. Um, but chief. 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 Why have you betrayed me? Why have you betrayed me? For what you have done, 
you stand forever cost, you will forever drink from the strings of sorrow, you stand banished from the kingdoms of my ancestors. Oh, Henry. Stand on my way. So beware. Beware! I have a man of one of the Juano. 